Disney in Disneyland, but this is the original here over on Broom Street in Manhattan, and they are known for their crazy iconic shakes, and I'm super excited to finally try out Black Tap. This is something I've been wanting to do forever, and so I'm excited to get some food, get some sweets, and so let's just do it. Let's go get into some hijinks. So as I said, Disney fans will recognize this from downtown Disneyland. Uh, there's also four locations in New York and one in Las Vegas. They are known for their iconic crazy shakes and their burgers and their beer. And there's also gonna be lots of other fun things that we're gonna try here today. Heading downstairs. Here is downstairs where we are eating. It's very cute in here. At the menu, you're gonna scan your phone for the QR code for the menu to pop up. My cocktail has arrived. This is the spicy margarita and it is jalapeno infused tequila, like fresh jalapenos with fresh lime. This is like a real genuine margarita. It looks delicious, I'm very excited to try it. My dining companion has gotten the Tokyo lemonade and that looks very, very cool. It is Tito's vodka, uzu, and lemon. It looks very refreshing. Let's see how spicy this spicy marg is. Cheers. Oh, ooh, ooh, it gets... At first you're like, and then it, bam, yeah, that's really spicy. This is not for spice-averse people. This is spicy. This is delicious, though. It's super unique. I've never had anything really like this. It tastes super fresh. It's very, like, even though it's very spicy, it feels very refreshing. That's so good. The salt around the rim is delicious with it. But, wow, my dudes, that is, that is spicy. That is very spicy. Um, but that is really, really good. I think if you're a margarita fan, if you're a spice fan, this is, this is something worth trying. Gonna be trying the Tokyo Lemonade. I love me Tito's, so let's do it. I love this. I think that's like a really refreshing beverage. Um, definitely very much the opposite of my spicy margarita, very spicy. Um, this is like on a hot day, this is absolutely perfect. It's very delicious. It feels very summery. I think like if you like lemonade, this is a great option for you. So I'm with my friend Danny. You may remember her from some previous videos. And she's got the Tokyo lemonade and I forgot, like I always forget. Um, I asked her, how is it? And she doesn't know because she can't taste anything. She doesn't have any taste buds to taste this. So I thought that there was going to be something to show you guys that was very special, but unfortunately I did not know this item is not at this location, it is only at the Midtown location, and I'm going to just show you what it is on the menu, and I'm really sad I didn't get to get it, but if you go to Midtown location, you can get this. They have Dole Whip, they have a Raspberry Margarita Dole Whip cocktail and a Boozy Creamsicle Dole Whip cocktail, we were going to get both, but unfortunately like we said, they don't have them here we did not know this and we're very sad but you can go to the Midtown location and get one if you wish our appetizers have arrived over here we have the fried pickles served with buttermilk dill and then on the right we have the crispy Brussels sprouts with sesame tahini it smells so good it looks so good let's try it all let's try a fried pickle Mm. That is delicious. The batter on the batter on these fried pickles is so crispy and so full of flavor. And then this dill buttermilk sauce. Wow. It is so creamy. Got a little tang to it from the dill. That is absolutely delicious. These are some of the best fried pickles I've ever had. Like, no lie, this is absolutely just 
great fried pickles. They were like really generous on the batter because sometimes I feel like when I get fried pickles, the batter is like completely falling off. And then what's the point of fried pickles? Because then there's no more fried. But this is actually really delicious. I I recommend these. Time to try out these crispy Brussels. I love Brussels sprouts. Like I love Brussels sprouts. They're one of my favorite foods. I know that's weird because it's a vegetable, but I love them. Okay. I wish there was a little more seasoning on the actual Brussels it's, itself. They're pretty much very plain. There's like no salt on them at all and I really like when there's salt on Brussels sprouts. They are very plain. The sauce, the tahini sauce, like it's not bad, but it's not very, it, it's very light. There's not that much flavor coming through. Um, I had to put a lot on and I, and I spilt it on myself of course because this is who I am as a person um, to get um, a lot of flavor out of the sauce. Um, overall, not my favorite Brussels sprouts I've gotten, but like they're not bad really. They're just something I probably wouldn't return to if I came back here. My entree has arrived. You cannot come to Black Tap and Burger and not get a burger, in my opinion. And this is the Texan burger. It's $19.50 and it's a prime burger with bacon, aged cheddar, a crispy onion ring, sweet baby rays barbecue and mayo it looks amazing and i'm ready to dig in oh my gosh this looks so good i am so ready for this burger absolutely fabulous burger it is so juicy there's so much flavor the bacon is so crispy the onion ring is really really delicious on top um the cheese is really melted this is just absolutely a great burger the juices coming out of this burger are just so flavorful and i just realized i forgot to add the barbecue so one second round two. Oh wow that's so delicious that is so delicious even with i'm telling you though even without the barbecue that burger is so juicy so full of flavor but i like the barbecue on it, it makes it super tangy i love all the different textures the, like i'm saying that that bacon is so crispy and then the the burger itself is so juicy, so great. You also have an option to do a gluten-free bun here for my gluten-free people. It's just a really excellent burger. Absolutely delicious. They also come with fries, and uh, they're gonna give me barbecue sauce. Gonna dip my fries in barbecue sauce. Love barbecue sauce. Great fries, nice and crispy. I didn't even have to ask for them to be crispy, which is which I forgot. And I, I love that because to me, fries, they have to be crispy. There's great flavor on them. Overall, really excellent entree. Nothing to complain about at all. It is time for the main event. I know it's dessert, but it's the main event. Here it is. Here it is. Here is my big crazy shake. This is the Bam Bam Shake and the whipped cream just fell. And it is made with vanilla ice cream and whipped cream. Oh my gosh, it is really falling apart here. And it comes with a Fruity Pebble Rice crispy, a Laffy Taffy, and lots of Fruity Pebbles. And it looks amazing and I'm ready to dig in. Like I can't, I'm afraid the whole thing is gonna explode if I just take this out. Oh my God, look, it just all fell apart. Look at that. Oh, and there's a Pop-Tart. I forgot that there's a Pop-Tart. There's so much going on in there. I, oh my God, I can't even, this is such a disaster. That's awesome. Let me tell you something. I barely got any ice cream, but the Fruity Pebbles are so good. I haven't had Fruity Pebbles in forever. Ooh, and it's like making the ice cream like taste like Fruity Pebbles. That is really, really good. It's definitely your most Instagrammable treat for sure, right? But it does taste good. It's just like really difficult to eat. At this point, I'm just really having a lot more of like the Fruity Pebbles and the whipped cream, but I mean, it's good. Should I dare try a piece of Pop-Tart? I mean, it's just a Pop-Tart, but like, hey, I like Pop-Tarts. Dip it in. You know what I 
don't like? That the Laffy Taffy is in its wrapper and then in my shake. Like, I hope this was washed. I, right? Like, I hope this was washed. I'm going to pull this out. It definitely looked cool, but, like, how, how washed was it? Black tap. I'm sure it's fine, but it just leads me to questions. This Rice Krispie bar looks so amazing because it's a Rice Krispie Fruity Pebbles bar. I don't think I've ever had that before. I'm going to a little dip, a little dippy. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Why have I never had a Fruity Pebbles Rice Krispie bar? Because that's amazing. Wow. It's definitely more novelty than it is like, you know, an amazing dessert, but it is very tasty. If you like Fruity Pebbles, this one is going to be for you. They have all different types. I mean, I really don't have any complaints about this at all. It's exactly how it sounds. It tastes like it tastes exactly how it sounds. It's super heavy, super shareable, but it's really good. Um, and this is what they're known for, their big crazy shakes. So, you know, let me know if this one is something you would get or maybe if you get a different type or if these shakes are just not for you because I know there are a lot of people like the novelty of the crazy shakes are like so fun in theory, but then when you get them, it's just kind of not what you want and I get that. I think this one in particular is very unique because I like the Fruity Pebbles and I like that Fruity Pebble bar. And I think it's very good. I don't think this is like the most amazing dessert in that world, but I think for what they do here, this is absolutely great and I think it's super fun to get with friends and family. So let me know if this is something that you would get if you would come to Black Tap for their iconic shakes. Because, I mean, I'm having a great time. It's fun. I'm sharing it with my friend. I think it's really like a fun little fun little day out, get the milkshake and some foods. Yeah, so I, th I thought we had a pretty good time here today. I had a pretty good time here today. And, you know, it's always nice to end on ice cream because I love ice cream. And I haven't had Fruity Pebbles in probably 20 years. It's pretty great. Well, my dudes, that was Black Tap here on Broom Street, the original Black Tap. Let me know what you thought of this meal. Is this some place you would want to try in any of the locations in New York or Vegas or at Disneyland? Have you eaten at any of these locations before? Is this on your must-do list or is this a skip for you? Please let me know all of this in the comments. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. And follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinx. And until next time, I do. Hope you guys can see some hijinks very, very soon. Bye-bye.